Shane Martin joins us now live exclusively from Auckland, New Zealand. Shane, welcome to the footy show. First of all, can I ask you, are you proud of your son today? He has lived the dream. Oh, <coughs> very proud, Eddie. Um, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty emotional, you know, uh, to see your son develop into something special, you know. Um, both mum, mum and I, you know, you just, yeah, it's a little bit emotional, mate. mate Sorry. It, your, <laughs> your son was emotional today too when we spoke to him, Sam and I. He uh, he did up a little bit. He's, he didn't sook, that's for sure. He's, he's not one of those people who gives his emotions up. But he said uh, it was one of the hardest things in his life when he gave you a hug the other day and you turned away. Hey, can you tell us, what did you say to your son when he came to you with Ralph Carr and said, Dad, I've got to make a decision to leave the Tigers and go to North Melbourne for 1.5 a year or stay at the Tigers for a discount but have a chance at Premiership glory? Ah, uh, well, it's... Oh, mate, it's like a, the biggest decision, like... For him, for him, let alone me and his manager, but the advice, you know, that we've all worked out and it, it's um, turned out all right, you know what I mean? Like, thanks to Ralph. And, mate, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> yeah, good on you, mate. Uh, now, Shane, you'll obviously be watching the Brownlow and, of course, the first uh, final on next Friday. Um, where would you be watching that and who would you be watching it with? Uh, has the AFL taken on another uh, leg over there in New Zealand since uh, your son's become the marquee player of the competition? Oh, yeah, it's, sort of, it's, it's certainly getting recognised over here, which is good. But hopefully I'm back there I'm sitting in the chair next to him, eh? So, yeah, it be, would be a, a good thing. So, so you think there's a chance that you could come back for either one of those two events, the Brownlow or the first semi? Oh, the um, semi? you know, definitely hoping so, but we'll have to go through the procedures and we should know a bit more by next Wednesday, hopefully. Shane, it's, uh, it's Beck here. I just want to go back to the decision and the decision-making process. How important... Richmond's obviously been very good to Dustin and very good to yourself as well, allowing visits, etc. How important was it um, for Dustin to stay in that family environment? They care about Dustin a lot. Did that play a lot into the decision? Yeah, um, <coughs> quite a bit actually. You know, like Dustin's a, a kid who likes his comfort and um, he likes, he doesn't like, uh, he likes, how do you put it? <laughs> he likes to be settled instead of disturbed, you know what I mean? He's a very humble, shy kid. Um, but the Rich Richmond Football Club's been magnificent for him, you know what I mean? Especially like people like Trent Cotchin. He's an amazing kid, you know. Can't thank him enough, to be honest. Shane, uh, you mentioned that next Wednesday uh, might be a big day for you. Uh, you've clearly got an application in. Uh, when, uh, Wednesday you'll find out. Is that's, that's huge news for, uh, for Dustin and uh, for all your friends and people over here. Uh, so what happens there? Uh, we're just waiting on a high court decision. Um, hopefully it goes our way and then we'll go through the legal procedures then and see what becomes of it. And Shane, uh, your son's watching right now and so is uh, the rest of your family over here. Have you got a message for him? Yeah, love your son and I'm very proud with my heart.